So, if Russia is the motherland, and Germany is the fatherland. So World War II in that case is just a really brutal divorce. Okay, but what are like the other countries in this? Like their children and shit. And what was America? What, what we did with Japan? What's that one? Uh, I don't remember the rest of the meme I got this from. It did say though. Mm. 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 New studio. Mm. 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 May I added something to this? That's a green screen. Maybe not. Let's see if I'm lazy. <sighs> Welcome to Crazy Counts. I am your KKW champion. Wait, 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 wait. Boop. And I might be the Raven, and I got the God Cards. Wait, wait. No, you, no, you don't. I, I have a remote. <laughs> so, as you don't. Whatever, we were also supposed to have Ice Knight and Maniac, but... We could have had the fake Maniac, honestly. Oh, yeah. Where, where is that? Uh, whatever. This is our new studio, first of all. Hope you guys like it. There's a bunch of references and stuff like that. Um, in the vlog, we went more into a bit of detail. Uh, we also got something so we can make popcorn. We don't know how exactly it works, or... To fit in our microwave, but we got popcorn corners. But that's not the snack we are eating today. On the road to 900 videos, where we will smash this pinata like a pinata. Cause how else? Well, you know what else do you do? No inappropriate jokes in the comments. We got some candy, some special candy, and the candy today is based on different beverages. We have. A Kit Kat, Duos, Mocha, Chocolate. Nice. Very nice. And we got Big Lee Chew that tastes like water chocolate. We even, you know I like candies. You know I like chocolate. You know I like candy bars. But I don't drink coffee. I you, I usually try to make the candy bars within the first week. That's really why we don't do these very often with different candy, you know, because I kind of eat it right away and say, I don't want to wait for a video. That's why we did the uh, Snickers brownie literally in different areas because I didn't want to wait. So I don't know if I'm going to like this. The interesting thing is, people definitely ordered this Kit Kat because that was like, that's a Kit Kat. Yeah. I don't know if everyone knows about the hot chocolate though. Big Honestly, you. you got this and... I was very confused. I did not think this was a thing, and I don't know if this is gonna taste good. I think it's just gonna taste like chocolate. It's really dark looking. It definitely. I don't know if it smells like coffee, but it kind of has like a mapley smell. You know what I mean? Let's show it to the the fans, though. It's, it's a bit of both. Ah, uh, this may not be bad actually. I don't think it's gonna be something I like. But hey, I guess I'm going for us. It's not bad. I don't think it tastes like mocha that much. Or maybe like a very like hint of it. It's not bad. I think even like non coffee likers can uh, try this for whatever reason if you want to. But I definitely now like as it tastes to, to my mouth more. This is definitely dough. I think coffee likers would like this very much. But I'll probably never look at it again. Hmm. Do you like it? This tastes... Just like with the other one. They put a lot of woke into the flavor. I don't know about mocha. I do get a little bit of the mocha flavor, but that's only because of the chocolate at the bottom. I think they definitely did good well. Oh, it's not I don't know if it. people would have bought in just a coffee Kit Kat. So that's interesting. It definitely fits alongside the other duos they did. I How many other ones besides the mint one? Did they do any other ones? Not just that one. The mint one was actually wasn't bad. I'm not a big fan of mint, but it was actually pretty good. Um, we'll, wait, we'll eat this at the end, but you know. 
There's like some my mom would have gotten like in 2005. You guys don't know what we're talking about, but <laughs> you know I'm uh. Hopefully it's not stuck together because we probably should have. This is probably is like a December thing, right? You got around Christmas. Yeah. I don't know if this is gonna be good. It doesn't really smell like hot chocolate, but it smells like somebody might have, like dumped hot chocolate powder into that bag. <laughs> yeah, no, it smells like chocolate, but not really like hot chocolate. See, that's the only thing I have problem with things that taste like hot chocolate or something like that. They never get the taste right, because it's... Some things do. Yeah, some things do, but doesn't really... I don't know. Uh, this is Bigly Chewed. I don't know if we mentioned. Um, I know some people like Bigly Chewed. I think only people really know what it is if you play baseball, and we didn't. But... Boy, you over did. No, I think it does actually taste like hot chocolate. Really? But it's a bit... It's a bit weird. It doesn't seem like this is the texture to go with. It's a bit weird. Not the worst thing ever. It's just unusual. I don't know. You're taking a lot of that, aren't you? You're really banking on this not being complete garbage. The, the chocolate is interesting. It could go really either way with me of whether or not that's hot chocolate or not. Yeah, it seems like as each minute goes by, I change my opinion. But, I don't know. Like, I really just don't know. It's interesting. Also, I don't know about it being good for another two years. Like, it's still 2023. Yeah. February 18th. <laughs> Over to you, especially if you got this in December. Okay. It's time to rank these on our snack time scale. And let's start with the Kit Kat. See, I'm torn between that it's, like, it's not bad, but it's also, like, it didn't really hit the flavor right. And I think that's the same with this one, but I think this is better. But it kind of goes by, like, you know, and this may get higher points just, you know, based on different things. Like, because you know what I mean? Like, it's not always just about what's butter is how, you know, the scale doesn't actually determine what's butter. Um, it's still got the coffee pot, like, spot on down. Yeah. I think I'm going to just give this a five. Because they did good, but it feels like, even for me, who doesn't like coffee, could say it could have been a little bit better. Like, I get what some people would probably say, like, oh, you, you know, you eat the full candy bar, though. Which probably would, but, listen. You gotta know that some people would share, eat only part of it, and things like that, you know. Um, so I'm gonna make it a five, because it's not bad. It's just not, like, it doesn't push it to be, like, on the, uh, sick side, you know, the, like, upper, like, good side. But it's not bad, either. It's okay. I think that's pretty high review, though, for someone who doesn't like coffee, so... Eat a dick. How about you? You can hold it if you want, just to swing it around. I think there's definitely some quality to this Kit Kat. I don't know if that's, like, weird or not to say that there's quality to this. I think if you're a coffee drinker, and you really like the taste of coffee, just, like, regular coffee... Like coffee, ice cream, and all that stuff. I think you would love this. I can't wait though for someone to be like, but that's mocha flavor, technically. We get what, you know what we mean. I think it is quality, and even though I wish there was a little bit more I of like chocolate. Have, I think that's part of the problem is though they went with mocha, not just straight up coffee. I think it was, I, I think, think they kind of just, out, it I was think, good. Yeah, it's not bad though. I think it would have been like, Probably like a four, though, if they went for like a coffee flavor. It would have just been too weird, but... Gives me definitely vibes of Dunkin' Donuts. And mm -hmm. I would have to say... I would give it a six. Okay. I think if you like coffee a lot, you would definitely make this higher, though. Yeah, this is starting to give like a strong smell outwards. I have such mixed opinions on this. Like, it... It's not bad, but it's just... It's weird, but like, I don't want to just be like, oh, it's 
weird. It shouldn't be flavored this, so it's bad. But like, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna have to rank this. Uh, I think a four. Cause uh, maybe I might even. Well, I don't know. I was gonna say I might put it a five just because the you know it lasts long with flavor wise. But honestly, I think that just means that a lot of gum will get low ranking. Because that's how I'm actually taking out. I'm sorry. I don't give a shit that most gum flavors don't last long. That actually puts you on a lower thing of anything. Like, come on, that's true, right? So, um... I mean, four, I guess. It's pretty high for hot chocolate favored bubblegum. gum. Oh, hold it. <laughs> yeah, that's... That I can smell that. I gotta say... I have mixed opinions on the flavor. I either debate if it's really ac if it's accurate or not. Um, I gotta say I don't think I would necessarily get this again. If somebody offered me some, I might take some. But yeah, because it's gluten peanut free. Like, come on, and yeah. something else free that you. That's what kind of like why I went this higher because like I would probably slightly consider it more. Then that, like, how much was that also? I don't remember. Because this was, like, less than a dollar. <laughs> you know, I think if you really like the Big League Chew thing, then you yeah. might like this. I don't know. I, I think, think gum people in general will like it. Especially if you like all sorts of candy, but gum's your favorite. You know, I feel like that's a good thing for you. I feel like they should have just, maybe just sort of, like, kept it with the same flavor, but labeled it as chocolate. I get that you're trying to go for a seasonal, like, audience, but you're a baseball, yeah, but you're a baseball gum. You should probably go for more of a spring thing, I don't know. I think... I get, yeah, no, it's, it is definitely hot chocolate at the end of the day, even though at some points it's debatable, it, but... It also reminds me of, like, some of the, like, the weird chocolate flavored things, like, that Stop and Shop had, like, a few years ago, but I think at the end some of the... Some of you don't know what Stop and Shop is. That's not where we got a popper maker. I, I love that. <laughs> uh, just real quick, we're bringing up popcorn. I think now like two or three times. But not even having anything popcorn related in this video. Yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna have to give this a four as well. It's not the worst thing ever, but there's a lot of room for improvement with this. Well, everyone, we got some more snacks for different videos and a different time. I've been bored, man. I might have been the Raven. This has been snack time. I hope you guys all have a good night. Make sure to subscribe to join the showcase. Spell with okay, because we are baddies. Just gonna make some popcorn. Yeah, let's go popcorn. Yeah, get some food in our tummy. <laughs>